Okay, Aaron just took off uh, some part of this ceiling. This is all ruined. Yeah. It's totally rotted. And I'm standing outside the camper and I can smell it. So after we got the uh, notification of how bad this damage was, we decided to take the roof off. Here I am pulling this down. Um, unfortunately, I'm not real good with our video camera, so we lost sound on all of this, so I'm gonna have to kind of walk you through what we did here. I took the roof off, uh, it just had four bolts, and here you can see it on the ground. Uh, both slides are removed at this point. Um, this water was much worse than anything I'd seen. Uh, I didn't even know what we were gonna have to do here. I thought we were gonna have to rebuild it from scratch uh, and have to buy a new metal roof. At this point in time, I really thought about just calling a junkyard and having them pick this trailer up. I, I felt that all the money we'd thrown into this was gonna go into the trash. Um, it was a really discouraging time for both Gidget and I. Well, it is what it is. We just decided to go ahead and clean up the mess here. Uh, try to get this as clearly as we could. So you can see I'm cleaning off the boxes and stuff. And Aaron is handing off some tools to me while we clean up. Right here, you can see all the stuff that we've knocked off the trailer and uh, roof before we had it discouraged. Giving Gidget some of the tools that we have left over. And because the water damage was so severe to the wood and everything, we went in and cleaned everything up. As you can see, it was just a bunch of junk that came off that roof. Um, and here I go throwing it out one way off that mattress and then trying to flip it the other direction just to clear it off. We tried to make the best of what we could out of what was there, so we stripped this uh, completely down. As you can see, I've torn out all the wood here. I tried to get it as clean and as clear as we possibly could. Um, and you'll see that coming up there. I've got over all the wood removed. These are the new panels that we're trying to put in. And here it goes up. The glue's still drying on this, but uh, this is the first panel. And we got it kind of resting on the silvers. What do you think about it? Okay, it might be a little hard to tell, but I'll go up so you can see the difference. I only did the roof edge piece on this side, which would be the front, I guess. And then there's that. The bottom sides have a second coat. That's one coat on the door and one coat on the top roof side. I'll come back later and give it another coat. And over here, I did right here, the top half with one coat. This got one coat. I'll come back and give it another one and finish the bottom. And this side I haven't done yet, but that's it so far for the moment. I'm gonna stop and get something to eat. Just wanted to give you an update. And at this point, we're struggling with inertia tape to try to get that underneath the new fan. Uh, the fan ended up coming out a lot better than I thought it would. It was a little hard to call, cut through the roof panels, but we got it placed in. Um, as you saw from the previous scenes, the new roof is, was one solid piece, so we didn't have a pre-cut for these. Um, and then uh, once we got this in, we went ahead and went over it with a bunch of more tape and then some uh, coolant product called Tropical uh, that's basically a paint and silicon mix and that got us through the rest of this. Uh, we do have some final shots of the roof coming out really good. And we had to be very careful when we did this because we couldn't put too much weight on the roof. Next week uh, we'll show you the conversion on the inside from the old to the new. Hey Gitch. Can you turn around so everybody can see the back of that shirt? Sure. Guys, if you can, get your own A&G Adventure shirt. Uh, there'll be a link in the description below.